translating verbal descriptions to functions. In real life, situations where we can use algebra are often presented as verbal descriptions. Fortunately, in verbal descriptions, there are key words that help us know how to translate the verbal descriptions into algebraic symbols. All linear functions can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where y is the dependent variable, m is the slope, x is the independent variable, and b is the y-intercept. Some key words indicate slope are per, for every, every, of, multiplied by, for, each, each, and a piece. Another common usage for slope is hourly, weekly, monthly, or annual pay or sales, such as 10.50 an hour or, or 5.50 a week, and situations such as those. Some key words that indicate y-intercept are fixed rate, starting point, one-time fee, down payment, initial payment, initial registration fee, fixed cost, startup cost, and hookup fee. Often you will see two numbers in the text and have to decide which is the slope and which is the y-intercept. Let's look at our first problem. Lee took a cab to the zoo. The company charges a fixed rate of $4.95 for pickup and 40 cents for each additional tenth of a mile. Which equation best represents the cost y for the ride if the trip was x tenths of a mile? We need to add, our first question is, what is a slope? We look for the key slope words. In this case, we have for each. And so, what for each? Well, we have 40 cents for each. And so, the right answer is going to have to have 0.4x, since 40 cents is 4 tenths of a dollar. And so, immediately, we can eliminate choices C and D, because they each have 4.95x. And so, now we look at the y-intercept. So 4.95 is the y-intercept. And then we look at the word and. What does and translate to? Well, it translates to a plus sign, not a minus sign. And so therefore, B is our correct answer. And here's our next problem. The amount A that the Hernandez family spends in N weeks for groceries at a local food club includes $45 for the initial registration fee and $37 each week for a box of groceries. Which equation describes the relationship between A and N? Okay, first question, what is the slope? We look for the key slope words, 37 each week. So we're going to look for 37N in this case. And there we see it. So therefore, C is a right answer. And also we can look at the y-intercept. What's our y-intercept? Well, it's going to be $45 because that's the initial registration fee. And here we see it. Therefore, we've, we're even more certain now that C is our right answer. Next problem. Reggie received a hotel, reserved a hotel meeting room for a presentation. The hotel required an initial payment of $100 plus $5 per person attending the event. Which equation best represents the total fee Y that the hotel will charge if X people attend the presentation? Well, I invite you to stop the video and see if you can solve this one. Then restart it once you figure it out. Okay, first of all, the first thing I notice here is $5 per person. And so the slope is going to be 5x. Therefore, we can eliminate choices A and B because those are 100x. And we see the word here, the keyword plus. And what sign does plus represent? A negative sign, a minus sign, or a plus sign? Well, it's going to be a plus sign here. So therefore, we eliminate choice D, and C is our correct answer. To summarize, we need to first identify the slope by looking for words like per, for every, each, a piece, etc. Secondly, we need to make sure that the slope is next to the x or the independent variable. Three, we need to look for the other number, the y-intercept, to be by itself added to or subtracted from the x term. Hope this video has been instructive and enjoyable. constructive and enjoyable.